You just found the perfect product that helps with staying cool during hot summer runs. No more gross warm water. Stay cool with this product from Gear Handle. This hydration tube cover helps keep your water cool and easily accessible. Stay hydrated during those long summer runs or even delay from freezing in the winter. Plus, they're compatible with various brands of water bladders and come in various colors. Visit GearHandle.com and use promo code H2O today. Hey guys, come join the cultural festival of Dia de los Muertos, hosted by Andrea Kosar and myself, darling. That's right. Saturday, October 29th from 4 to 11 p.m. There's going to be a super lit parade, live music, art, food truck, kid activities, and so much more. You guys can register for this event as a participant or vendor by messaging Dia de los Muertos Waco on Facebook or Instagram. See you guys there. Hey everyone, you're listening to The Public Affair with me, Andrew G. I see someone different every episode, but do me a favor, keep it between us. Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Andrew G, and welcome to another exciting episode, and I should also put a um, highly requested episode of The Public Affair. Um, before we continue, let me use this opportunity to thank you guys again so much, of course, for all the love and support that you continue to show me and The Public Affair going on two and a half years. Um, we're going to be three years old before you know it. I'm so excited. Of course, big shout out to Rogue Media Network with Mike Hamilton, Allison Robles, who edited and produce all my shows and just a special shout out to Mr. Corey Dickman because he already knows that's how we get down, right? <laughs> now, before we continue, I definitely want to use this opportunity to give a shout out to just a few of our sponsors of this episode of The Public Affair. This episode is brought to us by my boy, Joe Olvera for Brothers Construction, who provides custom home designs and renovations. He also focuses on roofing, remodeling, plumbing, tree removal, electrical work, and so much more, darling. Joe and his entire team of delicious snacks and men are building dreams affordable dream homes for you you can call the number on the screen for your consultation my boy joe has been a long time sponsor of the public affair and i truly appreciate him thank you so much for all you do for me well of course to my boy frank visa with bnj refinishing who focuses on resurfacing bathtubs counters sinks tiles and more to original showroom quality he offers five-year warranty on most work and has the best prices in town darling he also has inflatables a mechanical bowl a margarita machine tables chairs a foam machine so much more making all your su- parties super lady kitty uh, chad said he wants the foam machine i'm not asking why okay I'm, I'm, i know i'm inviting myself to the house when he does so my boy Frank buys a true hustler at heart. Thank you so much for all you do for me, bro. Oh my goodness, of course, the David Santabanas with Alinea Real Estate. He's the number one sales agent in his office. He'll help you buy a home or sell your property. Make sure you follow him on Facebook. Uh, David with Alinea, call the number on the screen, darling, for all your real estate needs. My boy David is the go-to when you need to get your first house. I can't wait to find my first house with David. It's gonna be super lit. I can't wait. He's such a good guy and all his work ethics I take note of. David, thank you so much for all you do for me, bro. I truly appreciate you. Oh my goodness, of course, to my girl, oh, to the succulent and delicious. Delicious peewee scrap cakes of Texas with my girl Anika Armstrong, who's a whole snack and has all the guys on my Facebook sliding in her DMs. Serving the most authentic Cajun cuisine with a wide selection of signature crab cake, seafood, pasta, and more. My favorite is the crabby seafood pasta, but their top recommended is the Southern Fried Catfish Special. Served with seafood, pasta, potato salad, and six fried shrimp. Now, the fish is topped with Houdat sauce. I'm not telling you what it is. I'm not telling you. You got to go to 108 Gym Drive in Hewitt or order online at order peewee's crab cakes of Texas.com to my girl Anika Armstrong. Thank you so much for all you do for me, girl. I truly appreciate you and of course of course of course to one morales with waco fencing and stuff now one builds privacy fences and chain link fences for all that extra at home privacy darling he also does demolitions build wood decks stone patios and gorgeous flower beds you can contact him with the number on the screen for your consultation my boy one morales out there killing the game and i appreciate him so much thank you for all the love and support that you show me bro i truly truly appreciate you all right guys so like i said i've been having people all up in my dms and not in this kind of way that i like you know when they want to come over it wasn't that so i was a little bit pissed off but they they were like, when are you going to have this guy on your show? I was like, whenever he has damn time, he's busy. But we finally were able to coordinate under the circumstances. He's here to get some things off his chest. And I want to get to know him a little bit more, too, because he seems really nice. So without further ado, I want to welcome the people's champ here on The Public Affair. He's finally here. How you doing? Man, what's up? Good. I asked him before the cameras started rolling, do I call you Chad or do I call you Peoples or Champ? And he said, whatever I wanted. The child, you have to be careful what you say, darling. Uh, we'll just say Chad. <laughs> we'll just say Chad. <laughs> no, how do you how do you even pronounce your last name? I, I didn't want to forget. Coet. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, it's so nice to have you on the public affair. First of all, thank you so much. You said that you were getting a lot of requests to be on shows and stuff, mm-hmm. and you picked the public affair to be the first one. So I, thank you for like the yes, exclusive sir. interview. I appreciate that. How you been? How you been holding on? Been good, you know, maintaining. Yeah. One day at a time. One day at a time. Okay. A lot's been going on in your life, as we see on yeah. social media. You you, you hold nothing back. 
Okay. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. I just don't give a damn. That's good. That's what makes you a perfect guest to be on mm-hmm. the public affairs. So we appreciate you, bro. Now, um, before we get into all the juicy stuff, though, you know, I've always wanted to meet you in person. We've never had the opportunity to just cross paths. Right. Can you introduce, or maybe there's people watching too, like, who the hell is that? Which, yeah, right, because right. everybody in this fucking town has been telling me to get you on the show. <laughs> Can you introduce yourself to us or me and tell us a little bit about you, please, Chad? Well, you know, they call me Big Chad. If you don't know me, I'm the People's Champ. You yes. know, I got my own, I'm pretty much like, I built my own brand, made my own name. Mm-hmm. I do it by helping people. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. You know, I'm uh, the number one salesman in Texas. Oh. The number two salesman in uh, the United States of America. Oh, okay. Like, number two in the nation. <laughs> yeah, that's When awesome. they come to the Lithia Auto Group, and I mm-hmm. love them, and, you know, everybody's waiting on me to say where I was going. I'm going to All-American Chevy and Colleen. There you starting go. Starting back on the third. Oh, okay. Well, congratulations. Y'all better be ready. Yeah. <laughs> so are you are you originally from this town? Is there reason yeah, I'm from why? Waco. You're from Waco. Yeah, I'm from okay. Waco. So now are you going to be driving to Colleen? Are you yeah, moving to Colleen? I'll be driving back and forth. Oh, okay. they just, you know, Waco just, you know, they just don't want to help people here, man. It's all... Mm. Everywhere I go, you know, they're going to pay me this. They're going to make sure I'm number one paid, this and that. You know, money's mm-hmm. always good, right? Okay. But for me, the reason I got the name People's Champ is I actually want to help people. Oh, Like, I'm okay. from the hood. I'm, I was born and raised in East Waco. Oh, okay, got so you. So coming from where I come from, people don't want to help people like us. You oh, know okay. what I'm saying? Okay. So I go the extra mile to help them type of people, my type of people, because at the end of the day, mm-hmm. they're the most loyal. I mean, I'm the number one, in, you know, in Texas. This yeah. I could go anywhere I want to. It doesn't matter. I just went to... Volkswagen and Waco and okay. took that store up completely. Oh, they okay. never sold that many cars. Is no, that right? So, mm-hmm. Okay. You know what? I like that you're popping your shit, though. You yeah, have I'm to be your own best cheerleader, don't you? you? got to. A lot of people misconceive that. Yeah, you get that a lot? Care. or you don't yeah. Care? <laughs> yeah, I just don't care what people think. <laughs> That's it. You just learn to not give a fuck anymore, right? That's it. I don't care because at the end of the day, whether mm-hmm. I say something or I don't say something, whether mm-hmm. I keep it private and one or two people find out and they get to talking, they're going to talk you the way it goes. Okay, got you. So I'd rather just tell him a story, and here you go. Here we go. Now you can just do what you want to with it, there right? There we I love him. I'm not here for You friends. should be my co-host on The Public Affair going forward. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> You're my kind of people. You're like the straight gangster version of me. <laughs> okay? I just need the grill and the chains and the, and the jewelry, and we got right, it down. Right, right. <laughs> you, you know what, though? Um, so I think that's really great. I, I, I guess statistically speaking, that is facts, that you are the number two salesman yes. in Texas. And then it was number one in Waco is what you number said. Number one in Texas, number oh, two in the nation. In the nation. Oh, okay, got gotcha. you. The difference between me and every other salesman is, mm-hmm. you know, when you go to a dealership and you're working, you know, the dealership gives you leads. Okay. The dealership gives you internet, you know, mm. sources they give you. And whoever walks up on the lot, whoever grabs that person first, yeah. it's their customer. You know what right, I'm saying? Right, right. I work under contract. I don't make commission. I'm not I'm not mm. in the game for commission. Oh, okay. I work off my name only. Oh, okay. So when I get hired at a dealership, it's mm. this, this, and this. Mm. And this is how much I'll make on the front. And that's it. I'm not trying to. Like they be raping people. Is that right? That. You know okay, okay. So, so, so you're not we the, keep it. We yeah. keep it real. We keep. I keep it authentic all the way through. If you mm-hmm. come and you ask for the people's champ, you are gonna get a people's champ deal. And it's just how it is. Okay, and I already you. have it worked out with the dealership. You know what mm, I'm saying? Okay, okay. How do you? How long did it take you to be able to negotiate those terms with um, any dealership? I mean, so, you know, long story short, it took a while because a lot of them hated me. Oh, really? Yeah, I've okay. been hated so bad. I've heard. And they run my name through the mud so I've bad. I've seen, I've heard. You know what I'm saying? I'm mm-hmm. like, okay, you heard what? Oh, well, that's funny as fuck. You yeah, know yeah. What I'm uh-huh. well, no, I, I, when I say I've heard, yeah. uh, the chat, please don't beat me up. No, <laughs> you know, I'm I can't fight. Okay. Yeah. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. You know, I've, I've, I've heard that you've had quite a hard time, I guess, fitting the mold, if you will. You know. Yeah, because I'm not like yeah. everybody else. The, in in right. dealerships in Waco, I'm going to speak on Waco real mm-hmm. quick. I worked at a couple places. I worked at a lot of places actually, and I always quit so fast because they yeah. just they just don't do right. They don't do right by people. They don't do right by me. Mm. And they work off this thing called the buddy system. I'm like, fuck a buddy. I'm here to do my <laughs> damn job, and you get the fuck out of my way. You know mm, what I'm saying? Okay, I got you. And I'm I'm not arrogant with it, but I let them know right, right. off the muscle, you can't fuck with me. Mm. I tell the managers, you can't fuck with me. Yeah, yeah. And I'm not doing it in an arrogant way, but they try to put their thumb on top of me, like okay. where I where I have certain pool and I don't have pool and I can't do this and I have to go ask them for permission for this. Mm. I'm not. I don't you don't do, do all that. Like that. No. So you just think first of all, you're yeah. a manager, mm-hmm. and I don't mean no disrespect to managers out there, but there's not a manager in Waco that could outsell me. There's not a manager in here that could get on the floor and do what I do. Anybody can be a manager. Not anybody could be Chad. I could only be the best that I can be. You know what I'm saying? I like this guy. 
I do because you know I hear I hear the sincerity in your voice and the passion, but it doesn't come off as like stuck up to me. No, I'm not. Stuck I, up. I get it. I get it though. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like I think I made a post not too long ago that says if you don't speak up, they'll run all over you. And that's what they do. And I yeah. don't let it. And then when I don't mm-hmm. let it, then it becomes a confrontation at the dealership. Uh, okay, got you. And then I'm a stand up guy at the end of the day. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it's I feel you. You know, it just. It's gotta, politics. Be part of the, yeah, politics. Yeah, it's and politics. I'm not good with politics. Oh, no, never mind. And I don't yeah. do well with people <laughs> with the buddy system. I don't do okay. well with watching them move up their friend when this guy's working so hard to feed his family. Mm. And he's way better than him. But no, we're going to move him because that's my friend. Because that's we're your friend. Move. Okay, got gotcha. you. You know what I'm saying? I feel you. I feel you. Well, you know what, um, Chad? I definitely want to I want to call you peoples so bad. Okay. <laughs> I just want to call you peoples because it sounds more gangster. Like, you know, my prison name is Peach, Big Peaches. Like, if I ever go to jail. <laughs> because, Chad, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, I am. Like, assume, I'm just, let's. I like straight to the point. You right. know what I mean? So whose girlfriend am I? Okay, don't be tossing me around. And but this is big peaches up in this bitch. Okay? That's all I'm doing. All right. Yeah. Don't be tossing me around. Well, yeah, toss me. Anyway, okay, so before we get into the dealership stuff, though, I, I really want to know about your life growing up stuff. So you, okay. you mentioned that you're from East Waco. Yes. And I'm actually from New York. So if I'm if I know correctly, East Waco, at least back in the day, was a, a little bit more of a rougher part of town. Am I correct to say yeah. that? Or yeah. okay. So what was life for you growing up like? You know, to be real, I was the only white boy. Okay. <laughs> I'm the only white boy in the clique, and I'm a yeah. real one. I don't try to be something that I'm not. Mm-hmm. I'm just how I was raised, how right. I am. I've always been 100%. I don't have no enemies unless they're just hating. Yes. But as far as a natural enemy, I don't have that because I'm I'm genuine. Mm. So when you give off genuine, whether they like you or don't like you, if you don't like you, if you don't like me, that's none of my business. That's I don't facts. care. Yeah, yeah. I feel you. As long as you don't come bring that shit to me. You know I got you. So did you, you did you have a hard time being like, I, I guess if East Waco is predominantly like uh, um, black. Yes. And, is it so just black it, or Latino? Or? It was mainly black. My, my, yeah. Yeah, you know what? No, I do know East Waco. Let me shut up because my um my unofficial bodyguard is from East Waco. Her name is Chastity oh, really? Stanford. She's this I know Chastity. Sh- do you know Chastity? Yes. Isn't she ferocious? That's my dog. Perfect yeah. for the head of security because she fights and ain't a stain on her. <laughs> yeah, she does. She'll fight you if you're a man yeah, as big as you or me and she don't give a fuck. I love mm-hmm. her. <laughs> but no, did you have a hard time fitting in with the culture of being the only white uh, person? Or no, nah, and yeah, mm-hmm. I mean no, nah, because like I grew up in it. It's different when you like mm-hmm. come from somewhere mm-hmm. and you're trying to fit in after you move in, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. But I was ground up with this. So okay, got I you. Just fit right. The, the problem was when I tried to find my way out of the streets okay. and try to get in corporate America. Mm. They didn't like that. They weren't. You know, okay. I could not fit in. I still don't fit in. Yeah. To this day. Right. I just don't like everybody has their own perception of what you should be or what you could be, but you're not selling cars for me. How are you going to tell me what I can be? <laughs> right. Let, I'm going to be what I'm going to be. You know what I'm saying? Most definitely. Most definitely. So the corporate world was hard as hell. It still is to okay. this day. I just walked out of another job. I just can't deal with it. Really? You know what I'm saying? Okay. So yeah. you had, so you, you just left the, the Volkswagen yeah. and then, so you had a job in between and you were just like, fuck this or. Yeah. I just took a break right now. I'm just, <laughs> Oh, I got I'm you. I got chilling. you. I called, you know, I, I had a couple interviews. I went to like, I went to seven different dealerships. Mm. They all wanted me. I sit down. I yeah. talk to them. I tell them how it worked. This is how we're going to do it, and this is what I want to get paid, right? Okay, got you. And they're just like, okay, okay, let's do it. And then I had one. I'm not going to say no names. Right? Yeah. I had one dealership say, hey, man, we're real Christian people. Is there any way you can wear a turtleneck to work? We really want you here. A but, turtleneck? <laughs> but, like, I was like, well, yeah, I'm a Christian. He's like, you got the devil on you. I'm not oh, having okay. Jesus too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm just like, you know, without due respect, wow. man, this ain't for me. Okay, got you. And that's how they look at you. You got to mm. think a lot of these owners or these dealerships, they're, okay. they're, they're racist. <laughs> I'm just being no, real. You, I don't you care what nobody's what's on saying. Your mind. Yeah, okay. I okay. mean, I've been through hell with mm. another dealership. You know okay. what I'm saying? They tried to ruin my career because I wouldn't change for him. He told me if I act my own color, I'll get farther in life. And he told oh, me to my wow. face. Like, and oh, I didn't wow. take it lightly. You know what I'm saying? He said that to you? He said it to me. Oh, wow. And then, through, and then he put fake charges on me, put me in jail. Oh, and then this is where my name started getting diminished. You know what I'm what saying? What the hell? I can't believe somebody actually said that to you. That's so he inappropriate. Did. Yeah. And then he told me I work too hard. Yes. I need to start getting, you know, go out there and find me a guy with a cowboy hat. Go okay. find me a night, nice working Samaritan. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then he keep. I remember it so well in the back of my mind. He's like, what you got to be. You, it's fucked up, <laughs> oh, hold bro. Hold on a second. Can, if you, wait, he said if you act your oh, race. If I okay. don't color, I get farther in life, which I don't know what that means. That like, I yeah. guess when I go other places, they look at me like I'm trying to act black, but at the end of the day, I'm acting myself. You're, just, you're being yourself. I know a lot exactly. of black people mm-hmm. that are very... 
proper. Mm -hmm. I don't understand where this white, black, Mexican, it's not like that. I feel like it's more of a, uh, not an environmental thing, or not cultural, what about, like um, like where you grow up, you know what I mean? That's what it is. That's what it is. That's how you act. But they make everything about color. Uh, Like it's about color, that's ignorant, for sure. Yeah, Yeah. wow, I can't believe that happened to you. That's fucking crazy. Um, That being said, um, did you face a lot of hardships growing up? It, yes. Like you know, well, I ain't gonna lie. I didn't really have. I had hardships just growing up in the hood. You know what I'm saying? Mm, like okay. you know, regular stuff. Lights get cut. Like off. fighting. Yeah, fighting. Baby mama. Gang yeah. members. All that. <laughs> oh, kind okay, of stuff. gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So it's been. Yeah, I had it rough, but I'm saying like I remember the struggle, and that's way easier than corporate America. Mm. I like the struggle. I got through it. Yeah. It built my character. It taught me how to appreciate things. How to you know survive. What I'm yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, all okay. That, yeah. But you weren't you weren't put onto this uh, Merlot though, right? No. That's You're not nice. fucking with the Merlot. <laughs> they weren't drinking this in East Waco? No. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, if Chastity was here, she would encourage you to try it. I ain't gonna lie to you though. I don't drink or smoke. I don't do nothing. I never oh. have. So oh, okay. I'm not really a drinker. Oh, okay. But when I do drink, I drink like like I told you, Dos Equis or Dos Equis, like okay. Crown Apple. Can we just give a shout out to the girlfriend? You don't you have a really yeah, hot man. girlfriend? Yeah. Shout out to my baby, Mag Marie. Yeah, Matt, I know? feel like I've met her before, you and she's have. super hot. And every time I see pictures of the two of you guys, you guys are both super hot. Then you guys took that <laughs> vacation. They took the mm-hmm. vacation, and I was like, I wonder what they're doing over there. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. No, okay, got Straight you. Straight over the balcony. You That's what's up. Almost went swimming with the fish. Oh my I got gosh. Carried away, Chad. <laughs> <laughs> I need to go on vacation with this guy. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no Chad, Chad, you're not my type. My type is needs papers, dirty fingernails, construction work. Oh, okay, yeah, that's, that's my me. type. Yes, you know what totally I mean. Opposite. Yeah, and I actually told one of my Clean last. Everything. That's it. Okay, <laughs> okay. So, so you know, okay. So you're growing up. Um, mm-hmm. you did you get in a lot of trouble at all? Oh, I was a troublemaker. Okay, got sure. you. Okay, all the coaches, everybody still knows me, and it's crazy. Yeah, because I was told my whole life, you know, growing up, that I'm gonna be in prison. I'm not gonna be nothing. Mm. Did you yeah. ever go to prison? No. No. I've been locked up a lot of times, but never prison. Okay, got you. Oh, you was know, there, like, jail? Like, you just kind of go in for yeah, the night and then come out? No, nah, oh. the longest I did was, like, eight months. I did eight months. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, got nothing, you. Nothing just major. Yeah, yeah. I don't know the difference. I've never been. You know, I can't. Oh, I was okay. just telling you big peaches, but I really can't fucking survive. I mean, I was just smart out there, bro. <laughs> yeah. Like, I swear I was. What made it easier for me to to but, maintain is that I just didn't mm-hmm. do drugs. Okay. See, a lot of people get la- get slipping and lacking because they're on something. They're not thinking mm. straight. You know what I'm saying? I, I wonder. I always thought straight, and I yeah. always wanted some money. That's all I wanted. That's all you I wanted. I never had nothing, so I'm like, mm-hmm. I just want the money. I don't know. How did you not fall under the the influence, though? I mean, especially being in a rough uh, neighborhood like you said you're from. You watching know? people. Okay. Watching people older than me, seeing what they're doing. You know, mm-hmm. when you're sitting there, you're chilling on the porch, and you know this. Old school's on bars, and yeah. they go in and take like two thousand dollars from him out of his pocket. They oh, don't even wow. know because he's. Because he's all fucked up, yeah. I'm just like, damn, I'll never want to be like that. Yeah. <laughs> no, I feel you. No, no I've never real. done drugs either, but I'll sure, you know, drink the shit out of I mean, I smoked I weed before, but I haven't did nothing else. No, yeah, for sure. Well, powder, none of that. No, I got you, yeah. Ugh. Anyway, all right, so now let's get into the good stuff, Chad Peoples. All right, so, you know... At some point in your life, you decide that you're going to take a stab at selling cars. Uh-huh. Okay, so wh- why that? What inspired you to do so? Uncle Manny. Yeah, man. Oh, Uncle okay. Manny put me on. So what happened was- Is he from here, Uncle Manny? Yeah, from he's here? from here. Oh, okay. He owned uh, Second Chance Autos in uh, East Waco, mm-hmm. right behind the Delta Inn. Oh, okay. Anyway, I had got into some trouble, you know, <laughs> got, uh, you know, evading arrest, all kinds of yeah, stuff, yeah. right? And then, you know, the judge, they were more lenient and cool back then. They was like, look, I done seen you too many times. Mm-hmm. One more time, you're gone. Said yeah. right now. You know? Yeah. So I'm just like, shit. One more time. I got him one more time. <laughs> so he's like, I had to get a real job. Okay, got you. So I went and worked at the Skinnies. I worked at Skinnies convenience store for mm-hmm. like. They fired me within like two weeks. <laughs> so they closed it like. Yeah. They're supposed to close at two a.m. It was the one in Robinson. Okay. And my brother Dante, he he ran the one on uh, Ninth Street. Yeah. Legacy was still alive. Mm-hmm. So we shut the stores down at 10.30 oh. and went, got dressed and went to the club. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you doing that? Closing close these people's fucking business down. Close Come on. Yeah, that was crazy. You caused them all that money. Yeah, I did. <laughs> okay, that got you. Funny. So you were getting in trouble. You were getting fired. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, all the time. I couldn't hold a job. My attitude was bad. I can't lie to y'all, man. Yeah. Like, everywhere I actually tried to work just didn't work out. Mm-hmm. I'm just not good with like people telling me what to do. Okay, got you. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. So I just figured out I had to be my own boss. Okay. Like how I got in the car business was with Uncle Manny because I was at the convenience store or whatever. And I was like, damn, I don't know what I'm going to do now because mm. they're watching. Yeah. So I can't do nothing illegal, right? Right, right. So I'm like, damn. And then when that's all you know how to make money, you're just like, damn, I'm going to go 
broke. Like, yeah. And then you work, you know, I didn't want to work there anyway because everywhere I work, you're making like, what, 400 every two weeks? That's okay, like got you. 1600 a month. Ain't shit, like, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm like, damn. I, I can't even go to the Jack and Box with that. What are you talking about? <laughs> so then uh, Manny was like, uh, you need to come over here to, to my dealership, man. You know, uh -huh. I got you. You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. I got you. If you know what I got you means. But like, yeah. So I go over there and. I don't. What does that mean? It just means I got you. Like, like I he's can gonna do what I, I can do what I need to do. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I got you. I think yeah. we do. I think. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We don't want to say too much on camera. Exactly. <laughs> so I'm in there, I feel like I got know, it. <laughs> but I'm, I'm really popular. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, for sure. I, I've been a rapper too. You know, oh, I got, okay. I had a record deal when I was uh, just turned. I just turned 18. I got flew out to Vegas. I lived in Vegas for a year and a half. Oh, wow. Okay. Most money I've ever made like one time. Yeah, for sure. So I had breaks. I had like. I don't know. I'm blessed. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, for sure. So I was freestyling. Mm. That's when the little flip and all them was back in style. Okay, you know yeah. You're giving me Paul Wall vibes for sure. Paul Wall. Yeah. He live. He cool. I yeah, for sure. You know, do you know, have you met Frankie J? You know who that is? Uh -uh. Okay, forget it. <laughs> He's not going to be singing. He has songs with Paul Wall. All right, go ahead. Right. So <laughs> okay. anyway, like, long story short, like, you know, I had got a little deal. It okay, wasn't got like you. no major, like, millions of dollars. It was just a little yeah. 30,000. That's a lot at one time, right? Oh, yeah, for sure. So we flew to, uh, flew to Vegas. I yeah. Sin City Records up there. And it's crazy when I got there, they were in a lawsuit with another Sin City Records out of Texas. Oh, wow. They already had somebody with that same name or whatever was going okay, on. Okay, yeah. Well, long story short, me and my homeboy, we was in there. Uh, he called himself, uh, what did he call himself? I don't even remember what he called himself. <laughs> uh, uh, scrappy. <laughs> okay. He called himself Scrappy. Scrappy, yeah, he okay. Was from, uh, like Lil Scrappy from Love and Hip Hop? Yeah, but not him, though. Not him, though. Yeah, but he. Um, <laughs> where he said he was from. Mm -hmm. I want to say he was from, say he was from Temple. But gotcha. anyway, we were rapping at about uh, Azabachi one night, and then yeah. I got that call like, "Hey, we're gonna talk to you." Woo -woo. Anyway, long story short, I flew up there. Mm -hmm. You know, spent that money fast as hell because I ain't never had that kind of money at one time. For you know sure. What, what do you so, do with thirty thousand dollars, right? Exactly. Well, I got a chin chill. It was one hundred and twenty okay. degrees. In Big Vegas. booty bitches in the strip club. Don't fuck Man. with me. <laughs> twenty grand just to get laid yeah. tonight. <laughs> That's where we all went, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was. I'm sorry. <laughs> nah, nah, I never no. had a problem with no. I know. I ain't gonna lie. Right uh, hand to the man, man. Yeah. I, ain't, I ain't gonna pay for no coochie unless it's a movie or a dinner or something. Well, That's the I'm, only way. Well, okay. So since we're doing right hand to the man, if oh, I lived in Las Vegas, I'm absolutely selling my box on the corner. Yes, I am. Okay, <laughs> because yeah, it's, it's legal it. out there. All right, and all that's right. it. This is a gold mine down here. I ain't Chad, never okay? had no problem with that. <laughs> 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 no, I'm fucking with but, you. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I went down there, and, mm -hmm. you know, they, they ended up getting raided, door kicked in. I never heard from them again. Okay, got you. And so I was then, down to, like, six grand. I'm like, oh, shit. Yeah, you know, so I was I'm 18. Like, I'm like, yeah. what do I do? I'm gonna, well, I guess the only thing you can do is spend it, right? Yeah, for so sure. I'm spend some old shit. Next thing you know, I'm in, I bought me a, uh, this what got me in the cars, right? Okay. Before Uncle Manny, before I even went that far, I met the king of cars mm. in Vegas. Okay. It was just live. I went up there and bought my car. It was a freaking genie up there. The yeah. Big dude. Uh, what was his name? Mike or Mark? Yeah. But he was like, man, you could just come over here and sell cars. I'm like, no. He was trying to show me how mm. the money is money, right? Yeah, but for sure. I'm already out. I need to get a car to take my ass home. I go home. Yeah, yeah. So I got a little the bit car, of money I drove got. all the way back to Texas. <laughs> yeah. But long story short, on the car business, uh -huh. I, uh, you know, got in trouble. Uncle Manny was like, hey, man, you need to come sell cars over here. I'm going to have for you. Woo, woo, right? It starts there. So then I'm just popular. That's it. You know what I'm saying? So the popularity is what made me who I am because uh -huh. everybody knows me. And I, I keep it genuine with everybody. Yeah, for sure. So why not do business with Chad? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I never got over in the streets, uh -huh. and I don't get over in real life. You know what I'm mm, saying? Okay, okay. So the word was I was out there at Uncle Manny's. You know, we had them cop cars, like Caprice's, Crown Vicks, all that kind yeah, of Yeah, yeah. And uh, shit, we sit on the hill out the mold. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and he was like, man, Chad, you're doing good. I feel like I'm holding you back. I'm going to try to get you a shot. Oh, okay. I'm like, okay. Like to work for a bigger dealership? Yeah, or okay. So, so it was the funniest shit ever, man. I went out mm. to Mars Tyler Motors, mm. and uh, he hired me. His name was Jeff. Yeah. But it wasn't an easy hire. Because I'm up there with my Caprice, Bang, yeah. Grill. I got braids <laughs> at the time. You went up with the grills? How much were your grills? Can I just ask? Because I want some. What, these right here? Yeah, those. Were, I paid $1,800. Show them to the camera right there. Look at that. <laughs> so I need $2,000. Sponsors. Grills. <laughs> no, I need some real. grills. Yeah. Yeah, I paid 18 a piece. Okay, got you. Um, okay, so you go to Mall I got overcharged because I got it from my name. You know what I'm saying? Name oh. brand guy. Okay, got you. Got you. The designer, the designer girls, yeah, is that what's I going on like, there? Come on, man. Do you use the, do you use those in bed? Can those be used in bed? Can yes. I use those in bed if I if I have yeah. girls? Yeah. yeah. It doesn't hurt? Don't hurt at all. It doesn't. 
guys in my DMs. <laughs> That's what's next. Grills for me. You, you, listen, Chad, listen, we have to take a quick break, okay? But when we get back, I want to learn more about the car business. I know you've been going through a lot right now, so we got to yes. get that yes. off your chest. You, I want you to tell us all, everything, spill the beans, okay, if you will, if you're not being shy. And if, you know, being shy. Okay, perfect. I do got to watch what I say, though. No, watch what you say. Listen, yeah, I don't want to get sued. You know, I don't have right. that kind of money. Okay. Mm-hmm. We'll just leave names out of it. But before, <laughs> when we get back, guys, we're going to learn more about the people's champ and um, how he's become so successful in the car business, everything that he's endured and how he was able to overcome it. So make sure you guys stay tuned here on The Public Affair. <laughs> hey, guys, I hope you're enjoying this really, really great episode with the people's champ. He's here live on The Public Affair. Uh, but before we continue, I definitely want to use this opportunity to give a shout out to just a few of our sponsors of this episode of The Public Affair. This episode is brought to us by my girl, Juliana Resendez with JR renovations. She's a general contractor specializing in commercial businesses and residential homes. She's a true queen leveling the playing field in a male dominated industry of darling. Make sure you follow on Facebook and Instagram at JR renovations and call the number on the screen for your consultation. Michael Juliana is the queen. You can't tell her shit. Don't tell her nothing. She's over there doing the damn thing. And I appreciate her so much. Thank you for all you do for me, girl. Oh, of course the Julian and Anna Banda with Banda's hauling service. They rent dump trailers. You fill it up. They haul it away. They also do junk removals and tree brush removals and haul cars in and out of town. Also, if you need a tow when you, when you buy the car and it breaks down, uh, you can book with the number on the screen. They got you. It's super affordable and very, very dependable. Julian and Anna, thank you guys so much for everything you do for me in the public affair. Of course, the Lisette Luna and Amanda Switzer with Embrace Fitness. They teach group fitness classes that are fun and dynamic, darling. They specialize in total body workouts by Escalat and by Jackie and Zumba Step. Classes are Monday through Thursday at 6 p.m. and 7 p.m. And you can even contact them to rent the building out for parties and small events. Those girls are super snackish. They're going to make you look snackish as well. Embrace Fitness. Thank you, ladies, so much for everything you do for me in the public affair. Of course, the Parkway National Insurance with my girl Nancy Pulsini, who provides insurance for all commercial trucks and tractor trailers. She also provides insurance for all contractors along with home and auto. So when you buy your car from Chad, you can get some auto insurance with Nancy. What's up? Call them on the screen for all insurance inquiries. Yeah, habla español también to my girl Nancy Pulsini. Thank you so much for all you do for me in the public affair, darling. And of course, oh my goodness, of course, he's got me looking super snackish today with the enhancements. Elite Barbershop with Sid Rodriguez located on Hewitt Drive. You can call the number on the screen to book or download the Squire app to book your appointment. Walk ins are welcome as well. They also have Marcus Guerrero, Chris Reyes, Santos Cordova, David Rodriguez, Isaac Chavez, Cliff Fletcher, and Isai over there making you look as snackish as I am on episode 100 and whatever this is with the People's Champ. Thank you so much, Sid, for being a longtime sponsor of the Public Affair, bro. I truly, truly appreciate you. All right, guys, we're going to get right back into it with the Public Affair. The People's Champ is here. Uh, the number one sales agent, uh, it's car salesman in Texas, number two in the nation. Dot. I didn't want to fuck it up. I didn't want to fuck it up. Here we go, guys. <laughs> I didn't want to mess it up. I thought I was going to mess it up. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So, peoples, um, before we did the break, uh, you were just, you know, you're still talking about the beginnings of mm-hmm. your, your car um, salesman career. Um, how much of a hard time did you have fitting? I mean, because, I mean, we look at you, you got the tattoos, you got the grills, you got the flashy jewelry, you know. Maybe you don't fit the mold of the salesperson. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? So, did you have a hard time in the beginning? Well, I guess, like, yeah. Dang. I tell you, I couldn't get hired. <laughs> and it was crazy because Jeff didn't want to hire me. His name okay. is Jeff Hanna. That's my boy now. That's, yeah, yeah. He's the one who gave me the nickname People's Champ. Got you. When he first started calling me People's Champ, I hated that shit. Mm. I was like, oh, I'm not no fucking People's Champ. Yeah. I'm not The Rock. I'm not Paul Wall. <laughs> you know, I'm not you're Muhammad Ali. I'm just Big Tag. Keep it like that. Yeah. He was like, no, you're the People's Champ. You'll never stop. You'll never give up. And I love it. You yeah, I got you. It ain't no deal. I'm like, oh, it's a deal somewhere right here. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, They're sure. here to buy a car. What do we got to do? Okay, got you. You know what I'm saying? So, so he gave you the name people's jam mm-hmm. yeah sometimes i so my new nickname with my friends is badissi i just learned what that is do you oh, know what that is God. they call me that now and i have <laughs> no idea that's on the other side of the rainbow i ain't on that side for sure well anyway <laughs> <laughs> i'm trying not to be too gay bro okay Let's, <laughs> no okay so so um how how did you how were you able to start having people take you serious as a car salesman because you seem like you were always you so no I've always what. been me. Yeah. They, uh, at first, like, so when I got hired at Marstaller, it wasn't easy. That was my first real job. Okay. I get in, I go up there for an interview. You know, I got my braids in. I got yeah. fucking grills. I'm earrings. trying to imagine you with braids. I used to have hair. I need to see that. Nasty. Send me pictures, please. And then. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, not gay shit. I just want to see. Okay. <laughs> I just want to see what it looks like. So, okay. yeah. so I get up there and I walk in. Yeah. Uh, there's a dude named Murray Payne. Cool old school vet. He's okay. been there for 20 years. Another salesman named Papa. Been there for over 20 oh, years. Oh, wow. You know damn. They last in a Mosta hey, Motors. Yeah. Okay. I, walked, I walked up there like, oh, what you looking for, son? Mm-hmm. I say, shit. Uh, Jeff Hanna. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm looking for. He's like, 
well, what can we do for you? I said, I'm looking for Jeff Hammond. Okay, gotcha. I know, but like, what, what do you need him for? So right, right. I'm thugging. I'm pulling my bang up loud, shaking the window. Right, the see, braids. You know? Because nobody knows when, mm. you're, when you're raised a certain way, mm. that's all you see. Mm. Like now, I'd be like, damn, that was dumb as fuck what I was doing. Okay, right? I got just you. wasn't there yet. You know what I'm but saying? But that was normal all to you. All I know is me, normal. That was, that was normal, normal to, to you. Me. Yeah, yeah. Abnormal to them. Okay, for got real. you for sure. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I go in there and I'm like, look, Jeff. Uh, my name is Chad. My uncle Manny uh, sent me down here. His name is Manny Dowling. I love him. Mm. Man, he the one got me where I'm at. You know? Shout out Manny. What's his last name again? Manny Dowling. Dowling. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Shout out to him. Tell him to watch this episode. Nah, for real. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So uh, anyway, I got the job up there. I was in there mm -hmm. talking to him. He was like, "What do you want to do?" I said, "I want to sell cars." Yeah. He's like, "Well, what makes you think you can sell cars?" This is how I came. He oh just wow. Straight up. You okay. Know what okay. Saying? I'm like, shit, what you mean? What the fuck? I, mean, I just did this shit. I up just here. did this. And he was like, no, yeah. he said, it's different from that kind of a car lot. Is this. that right? Okay. Yeah, it is different, but. Like, why? Very professional. Mm. You know, you have to have, you're, you're pulling people's livelihoods. You know what I'm uh, saying? Like, you just can't be walking around niggas and bitches. Be a nurse, a doctor. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, I got you. So okay. You got to be ready for that mm. professionalism, right? Mm, okay. But I was never that. I never wanted to be. I'm more professional now than I ever been, but I know mm -hmm. how to. I'm still gonna be Chad. Yeah, know, yeah, so for they're sure. They're still gonna see it in me, and it's up to them mm -hmm. whether they like me or not. Right? Yeah. Well, you know, I've seen your live videos when you were at the uh, another car dealership that you were working right. at. Okay, and and you know, even with the language and how you are and how you speak. First of all, that's just very Texas to me. You know, like I told you, I'm from New York, so the that's way you guys weird. all talk. It's like funny to me. Yeah, 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 that's the it's that Texas little North Waco East slang or not East Waco in your case, yeah. you know. And you know, it was like, yeah, you know, these niggas hating on me, blah blah blah. And you're <laughs> in front of the fucking job, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, what I'm the fuck is going? You know what I mean? So, so were, were you always like that as a salesman, or did yeah. you like learn to be so, comfortable as you went on? I was always like that. Like I said, yeah. it's just like a natural thing to me, right? Like mm -hmm. you asked me if I was gonna be nervous on here. No, no, yeah, you know what I'm saying, yeah, he came with it. Yeah, it's just, it's a nat. I don't know. I just got that natural. Mm -hmm. I'm Aries. I think got a lot to do with you know. Well, you're a people person. Yeah, I'm a people. person. Yeah, you're a sure. people person, which is essential for your career. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this fool told me like, what makes you think you can sell? Cars? <laughs> I'm like, man, I already did it. What would we go through with all that? He's That's like, it. No, nah. he says I could probably start you over there at the wash bay. I'm like, I ain't washing no motherfucking cars. Okay, what and is I this? I just started walking out. I'm like, shit, that's that's y'all's loss. Because I mm. feel like I'm the, I'm, I always feel like I'm the man, no matter what I'm doing. Okay, man. okay. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, My for sure. My confidence is at all time high. Yeah, yeah, I got you. So I'm walking out. I said, that's y'all's loss. And I'm mm. walking out, and Jeff tells the other Jeff, which is Jeff Campbell, he tells Jeff Campbell, Man, go get that motherfucker. <laughs> Just like that. Like, you a motherfucker? You yeah, know yeah, saying? yeah, for sure. I what said, happened what? to being professional? Yeah, now I'm a motherfucker? What the fuck? What's yeah. up? Okay. No, I thought it wasn't really just super professional. Like yeah, that. okay. It was, it was cool there. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure, for sure. So we, uh, he goes and grabs me, and he comes back. He says, he says, sit down, boy. Whoa, first of all, they call me a boy. Boy, you know, oh. So I, isn't that fighting words in Texas? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> and then I remember Uncle Manny telling me, hey, man, when you go up there, he might say some shit, but you mm. need it. Don't look at it like mm. you finna fight him or okay. you finna go off. He's like, you, if you want to make it in this world this mm. type of way, then you're going to have to take some sacrifices. You're going to have to let him talk the way he wants to talk. And I'm just like, in the beginning. And he already knows what's up because yeah. he's a little different. You know for what I'm sure, saying? for sure, yeah. So I get in that hole. I'm like, man. And he's like, he first he says, sit down, boy. I'm just like, <laughs> and I'm, I'm looking at Uncle Manny's face. Yeah. Like you're about you know to put I'm the saying? beaters on All him. Right, well, let me just chill. <laughs> okay. like, it, was, uh, it was December 14, 2010. Uh -huh. He talking about you got you gonna start on the sixteenth. You have any money in your pocket? I'm like, yeah, for sure, for sure. You got to take all this bullshit clown. You like a fucking clown. <laughs> he says, "What is this fucking stupid shit?" You He's got talking clown? to you like that. Yeah. Wow, okay. And I that, was young, so I'm like okay. a kid to him. He's in his fifties, and I'm like eighteen. You know, oh, okay, 40s, okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I'm like, man, and I'm just listening to him talk to him. Hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I can beat your bitch. Like, it, what is going on here? Yeah. So anyway, long story I really can't short, believe you didn't just walk out. Yeah. I just took it. Yeah. And then you know I did it because I heard so much about the car business mm. about you know it's just like dope money. You know what I'm saying? Okay. That's really what I heard. And everybody mm. that does it that I've talked to are really successful. You know what for I'm sure, saying? For sure. For so sure. Like, you know what? Maybe I just need to take them. All right. Just put your pride to the side. All right, that's what I was doing. Okay, got you. It made me cut my hair, cut all that shit off. We cut the braids off, the braids. Remember the braids, man? You had the tight braids? Come on. Uh, Alan Iverson, man. Oh, man. <laughs> so, anyway, I was like, cool, it's time for me to change. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, for sure. Uh, and my son just got born. That was a big thing for me because my dad wasn't there for me. Okay. So, when oh, my really? son was born, mm. I was like, shit, I got you. You ain't got to worry about nothing. Mm, okay. I'm always going to be here. You don't make a promise to him. You know what I'm for saying? For sure, for sure. I'm like, shit, I'm. Your dad, so you didn't so, grow up with the dad? No.
But you have like a dad. I do have a dad. My mm. last name is Coed. My real last name is Crane. Mm. But my stepdad adopted me, my sister daddy. Mm-hmm. And he raised me. He was a good father. That's your dad. You know, but mm. when I, I was just, I don't know, you can't lie to your kids, man. That's mm. why, I, like, I, I tell everybody, don't lie to your kids. Yeah, you gotta yeah. keep it real with them. No matter oh, what situation sure. you're in, mm-hmm. because it fucked me up. Like, it really did. When I found out that he wasn't my real dad, I flipped mm, out. Really? Oh, wow. Okay. I'm like, man, you can't whoop me. You can't touch me. Like, my real dad. I mean, I went through hell. And yeah. he still beat the shit out of me. Yeah, I for sure, that. for sure. You know, he was a real father figure, and, mm. and, I, and, I, and I'm happy I had him, though. You know what right. I'm saying? Right. Real quick, do, do you have have you met your biological father? Do you guys have a oh, relationship? Yeah. Oh, okay. Bad relationship. Oh, uh, really okay. Bitch ass, uh, oh, okay. <laughs> well, well, there's that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. In my life, uh, I got I got evading arrest when I was 13. I mm. stole my mama's car. Uh-huh. And me and my homeboys were out joyriding, but the officer, we get in so much trouble uh-huh. in skate country. That the laws, it was Mr. J.W. and the Mexican lady. Mm-hmm. I remember J.W. He mm-hmm. knew it was me in the driver's seat. My little homeboy, Angel, in the front with yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. He told me, man, once she seen us, we looked at her, she looked it up, we locked the eyes. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Go on. Yeah, for I'm sure. Talking about, so we got evading the rest. I got in trouble for that. You know, they told my mama car. They mm. found me out in the, in the woods. I was trying to hide. Till I, I really, woods. I ain't gonna lie, I got scared in the woods. Okay, I'm yeah. Like, I'm finna take my bitch ass to jail. Yeah. I'm 13. I'm, Who I'm knows what the fuck is in the woods, jail, right? Yeah, I started hearing shit Lyme about, disease and shit. Fuck out of here. Okay. Keep on taking me, man. Wolves and bears and coyotes. Man, it was weird. <laughs> it was a wooded area. It wasn't really Yeah, I got you. Okay. It was back behind Orchard lane like where yeah. the tired place is okay, okay. i took off running back there <laughs> i'm imagining that in my head that's crazy with the tight braids so, okay uh, <laughs> no i'm sorry i didn't mean to get off track but go ahead yeah, yeah. so the person been in my life is my uncle Alton. He he passed away mm. but he was the one that always been there for me mm. and when i got in that trouble i'm running my mom through hell so bad she put me in boot camp she tried to get me over to the state i was mm. a bad kid I okay was bad, bad. okay got you so uh and then that's all on her. She's a single mother. I'm not helping her. I'm hurting her horribly. Mm. She's getting mm-hmm. fines from school. Me skipping school. Laws right. looking for me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So uh, just a troublemaking little yeah, boy. Trouble that's it. Me. Okay. Like, what the hell? <laughs> so uh, that's when my dad had popped up out of nowhere. Mm. My real dad, uh, my uncle Alton, had called him and said, "Man, Chad is out of control. Mm. Couldn't talk to me. I didn't listen to him. I just didn't give a fuck." You I mean, yeah. Saying? Well, what the fuck? The real dad out of nowhere. Like, yeah, he just yeah. popped up. Uh-huh. And I was actually happy to see him. Like, damn, this mm. is my real dad. So okay. he kind of did something to me. Yeah. But he's just a con artist. He's a piece mm. of shit. You know okay. what I'm saying? To okay. be real, like he moved, he moved us out the hood and moved us way to Plano. I'm talking mm. about so he's a general contractor, so he made big money. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, for sure. So I see this big two-story house. He got a Hummer, Harley Davidson's. I'm uh-huh. just like, whoa. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like this is live as fuck, right? Yeah. Something happened. I don't know. He's bad about Fucking over people, I guess. Okay, so I got you. They came and took his shit. He had some some weapons. Oh, wow. And they said that that was illegal, so he FBI all in the house. So oh, wow, okay. So he puts us in a, a trailer in Mesquite, and then, you know, this is all in six months. Yeah, yeah. So my that's mama, a lot my, going my, on. My grandma just died, uh-huh. and my mama bought a, a brand new 2001 Dodge Durango. Yeah. Brand spanking new. That's, that's how long ago this was. Yeah, for sure. And like he took her car, said, "Hey, we got to sell this car so I can get a truck, get back to work." Okay, we'll got right. you. So she he sells the truck, gets her. He owes her car to this day. Yeah, sells her, tr- and he says that he's one of the men that your mama can't work. You know what I'm saying? He uh, didn't bring the bacon, right? Okay, but then he just stopped showing up one day. Left he just, us out. He there. just peaced out again. He peaced out, and mm-hmm. we're out there. My mom don't have no job. My mom don't have no car. Okay, and we out there with no food. Now the water cut off. Oh and my we in god! A trailer house. Yes. Like, what the fuck? So my mom ended up calling her best friend in mm-hmm. Temple to come get us. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Oh wow. Her best friend stayed in Temple. Good so for her. She came True and got friends. us. And, yeah. you know, just little shit like that. Then on top, okay. you know, he paid my tickets off. This is when mm. he came in trying to change me. But, right, right. You know, the word was, I can't change him. Oh, uh, okay. We, he didn't like me. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know, I'm water under the bridge, right? Yeah. You're the people's champ now, so who fucking cares? Oh, they, now they love you. They, yeah, he needs yeah. to know that you're the number one sales agent yeah, in, in he Texas. Tried, he, he okay. Reached, reached out, you know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. Oh, they reach out when you're popping, right? Yeah, when they're popping. I know what's up. Yeah, <laughs> no, okay, yeah. No, okay, bro. So uh, so back to the, the car. Okay, so it's been no secret that you're, you're having... How do I put this? There's some things going on mm-hmm. with, with the people's champ. Okay, and you know it, yeah. it's really up to my. It's really up, it's really my fault that the stuff happens. Okay, I just don't deal with bullshit. Okay, okay. And I don't deal with someone telling me a certain type of thing or a certain type of way or the way. You, if I don't agree with the way you run your business, mm-hmm. but you brought me here to run your business. Okay, and I'm saying this, this, and this is wrong, and there's no way that I can make it without this, this, and this. Uh-huh. We need to work together on this, this, and this. And you got another manager who ain't shit, don't mm. know what the fuck he's doing, and then he's trying to change up, and he's bitching about what I'm doing, mm-hmm. bro. I throw, I threw one 
fucking barbecue. The first barbecue had over 100 people on the lot. Yeah. You've, they've never seen that before. Okay, okay. You see what I'm saying? Yes. And for so, full disclosure reasons, we're keeping the name of the business out of it. Yeah, no, okay, no, yeah. No name, that's man. it. <laughs> but y'all know what's up. <laughs> Allegedly. So, so, yeah, yeah. so, like, I'm just like, yeah. damn. So then, you know, they were like, we need help on the desk. There's nobody. Okay. And I don't want to be a manager. Let me tell you why. Okay. Being, I always wanted to be a manager until you get the manager position. Yeah. And I've been a manager a couple different places. Definitely, but I lasted I no more than, like, two, three days. I, mean, I don't know. This ain't for me. That's ain't you know for you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. See, me, I can worry about me, myself, and I. And then my customers. Okay. When you're a manager, you got to worry about everybody. Everybody, yeah. You got to okay. make sure he's okay, she's okay, they're doing this, they're doing this. Right. Which wouldn't be bad if you had a good backing. Okay. So I guess people run my name so much, like I'm this horrible person. Right? Yeah, yeah. They say I do so much jicky stuff. I do bad stuff. Mm-hmm. That's the reason I sell all these cars. Well, first of all, fuck you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and second of all, you, yeah. know, you know, the Dodge house in Waco, mm-hmm. that's where everything bad happened to me at. You know what I'm okay, saying? Okay, got so you. So I was number one there. And Ted, I mean, he just didn't like me. And I say his name because I don't give a fuck okay. about him. You know what I don't know who that is. But okay. Yeah, he's the <laughs> okay. manager at, all, at Alan Samuels. Okay, got you. So you guys just didn't get along. Yeah, he's the one who told me all that bullshit. You know what I'm saying? About the, the yes. act, you're acting black. Like my own color. Allegedly, allegedly. Yeah. allegedly. Okay, got you. Wow, that's crazy. And then it's crazy because yeah. everybody believed him because he's this rich white man, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. And then what about what happened to Baylor? Oh, he let it slip on TV. <laughs> okay, now everybody wants to be like, Chad, I knew it. You Whoa, knew what? Yeah. I'm not your friend. Oh, oh now, now okay. that I made it, you want to come toast with me. I, I don't see what's toast going on. Okay, you know wait. So when, when everything allegedly happens in the beginning with you yeah. and, and this person, and, and it's um, he says everybody's this to you, and everybody's on his side, they're like, well, we don't want to believe the big the big scary guy with the tattoos and the grills and the chains and yeah. he's Waco. But then when this happens, because I, I saw that. <laughs> I saw that. So now I know what you're talking about. But um, I saw that and now everybody's like, oh wait. Oh, look, Chad, look. So so then, so you don't so you don't find room for like, oh no, fuck that. You guys weren't on my side in the beginning. Cause it gets oh, lo- I don't fuck with nobody. Here's the like thing, that. it gets lonely when shit hits the fan oh, yeah. and you really figure out who's there for you, right? I'm gonna tell you right now, yeah. I'm lonely as hell. I got mm. my same people I grew up with that I love to death. Yeah. I got of course acquaintances, right? And just me and my girl. Most my definitely. Kids, just family. That's it. All that Marie's hot too. She is hot. Yeah, that's my baby. Yeah, she's all hot. that super Great popular, ass. super popular shit. Yeah. That's just dead. Yeah, this is so mm. fake and watered down. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Well, I I've, I spoke about it most recently on one of my just most recent episodes, mm-hmm. actually, Chad, because of people's. Because, um, you know, when, when, when shit, social media and the tool of that is like fucking it's just unreal to me how influential it can be to people. Yep. Like I could put right now that, that Chad butt fucked me and you guys are going to believe it. And it wasn't true. Do you know what I mean? Most definitely not true. But if I put it on social media, everybody will fucking believe it. You know? Mm-hmm. So nobody wants to find out the facts first, but then once shit hits the fan and then every, it's like, everybody wants to play the majority side yep. or what, you know what I mean? They want to be on saying? the winning side. Okay. Whatever gotcha. Whatever they think side is going to win. That's just how I feel. How did you it's... overcome something like that? Because that's, that has to be something hard to go through. First of all, like, mm. I'm really, I'm strong minded. So I don't okay. let that shit get to me. You know okay. what I'm saying? Okay. In the, in the best Best thing is my people. They never gave up on me. Mm. So even I was going through that shit with Alan Samuels. Okay. Damn, I went to I went to Chevy West for a little while. I didn't last out there. I didn't like it out there. Okay, got you. I quit pretty quick. You know what I'm saying? Okay, got you. Just too country. Too right? country. Okay. So I get out there. Nothing bad to say about them. They're cool people. Mm-hmm. But I get out there. I sell a bunch of cars. I'm like, okay, I'm gone. Yeah. I'm gone. Yeah. I got the same for me. Yeah, for sure. And then, for you sure. Know, Greg May reached out to me. I went mm-hmm. out there, did my thing at Honda. You know what I'm saying? Okay, got you. That's where so, I got my Honda. That's where I started. Yeah, Greg, I love Greg May. <laughs> yeah, I don't know any of them, but I know the, the finance guy was kind of hot. But yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> Santiago? I think it was, actually. He's a Chevy US now. Shout out Santiago, my boy, man. <laughs> he doesn't he know who the fuck you. I am. He doesn't know what <laughs> that shit was. Bro, that was in 2012. I still have that fucking car. I just remember sitting in the finance <laughs> oh, office, okay. and I was like, what's up? <laughs> what you doing? He was listening to Mark Anthony, so I knew he was down. Was, no, oh allegedly. So, shout out to Santiago, the finance manager. Like, like, there, man. I'm but sure I, he's I not mean, good. I have, yeah. good. I have good okay. everywhere, right? Yes, yes. So the thing bad about these dealerships is when you when you don't want to work there or something doesn't work out, now uh-huh. they want to run my name like my name's been ran already. Whoa, oh, what happened? Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, now that I quit, yeah. I quit on a good note. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And now I'm a piece of shit. Yeah. Now I did jicky shit. Well, first of all, everybody knows if you was to really do some jicky shit, mm-hmm. Drew, I'd be in prison. Because yeah. they're going to, I'm going to tell you what happened to Alan Samuels. I came in one day. I'm number one sales. Been yeah. there. This is a, I ain't big, big yet, right? Okay, gotcha. But I'm big there. I'm big in Waco. For Nobody sure. can fuck with me in Waco. 
So I'm like, okay, I'm selling over 30 cars a month. Back then, that was a lot. Still, it's mm. a lot to this day, but I'm over 50, 60 cars 30 guy. cars a month sounds yeah. like a lot. That's a car a it's day. It's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm the only one that could do it. I still got the record of Adam Samuels, right? I still got friends that work there. One of my yeah. good friends is still the manager. So yeah. I'm like, hey, is anybody beat my record For yet? Sure. He's like, fuck no. I have to close. say, one of my um, sponsor's friends, Eric Cuddy, works at Adam Samuels. Okay. <laughs> I love him. I do love him. Yeah. yeah. He was on the show too, episode 50. Yeah. Okay. Okay, go ahead. So shit, mm. I mean, I, you know. And I'm just like, they couldn't touch me. So long story mm-hmm. short, yeah, man, for sure. like some, you know, it'd be little shit. And the, and the dealership has insurance. The dealership has a job. Mm, okay. Finance has a job. To mm-hmm, do. Mm-hmm. When you come in and you run someone's credit, okay. you have to do the red flags. You have to look into it, if, especially if they're out of state. Mm-hmm. You have to do your due diligence on that. I know now. I didn't know then. Mm. I was selling cars. All I did was do a credit app okay. and give it to the to the manager and he told me what to do you know what i'm saying mm, okay so long story short you know i'm selling a bunch of cars ted's lying to me over and over he's supposed to send me to cabo he's supposed to send me here. he's supposed to give me a, a cabo uh, yeah because i was selling so many cars i want to go to cabo and we had this we <laughs> had this uh month where we sold over like 330 i think it was. oh yeah yeah and i left early i left it like on the 27th okay got and you he was like no, I need you. No, I sold my 30. I'm good. Like, nobody can hit that. Oh, I sold okay. my 30. I'm chilling. You know okay, so you weren't trying to do the yeah, I wasn't, more Yeah, because we okay. already hit our number, and I'm already good. What's yeah. the point of going more? Okay, the got more, you. The more you make, the more taxes they take. Yeah. So you got to find your medium. It's you like overtime. I don't do fucking yeah, overtime. Yeah, it's stupid. Mm-hmm. If you do overtime, I'm, I'm with you. you know, mm-hmm. give me three grand, you make a thousand. So you, that's, that's it. What good. was that for? I, I yeah, can't even shit that. Yeah, whatever. Anyway. So long story short, yeah, he just overpromised me and undelivered on everything. Never came through for me. Always said he would, never did. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So then, um, you know, the story was that, you know, Chad, uh, well, let me tell you the story. Okay. So my homeboy gets fresh out the pins, one of my best friends. Yeah, for long. sure. Still to this day, my dog. Yeah. You know, in the hood, we work different than the other side of the world, right? Okay. Because you got you to gotta know how it is on both sides of the world. Most you definitely. Can't, everybody on the up and up, silver spoon, mm-hmm. all they do is judge the bottom. Mm. And then the bottom gets mad because they're in a silver spoon, so fuck them too, right? Yeah, for sure. So there's always a medium, right? Yeah. So, you know, my homeboy coming to me, hey, man, I need a car. We run his whole family. I tried. We, me, I mean, me and whole ain't working like a mud. So I yeah, for sure. And I can't credit too bad. If credit's too bad, you just can't do you shit. You just can't do you know it. Yeah, okay. So he's like, what I got to do, man? You got to find me a co-sign with good credit. Yeah. So he asking strangers, you know what I'm saying? Oh, wow. Hey, man, you co-sign for me if it works, give you 500. It's not illegal if they're going to do it. <laughs> okay. The problem is he ran into somebody that stole someone's identity. Oh. So this is where I started. What are the fucking odds? Yeah. Oh, so he wow. Up there, I get the credit app. I uh-huh. give it to the manager. He, hey, he's approved, man. He's like, man, get him here now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like, hey, man, let's give him Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. So I tell my homeboy, yeah, we good to go. You can get the challenges, you know. Okay. Woo, woo, woo. So I'm happy as shit. I'm selling him a car. He's getting what he wants. That's my best friend. Made me feel good. Got you. Then the other guy comes in there. And, you know, he only wanted one car, right? Mm, okay. But the other guy, you know, he said he was going through, like, a divorce in Oklahoma. He yeah. Went, he's down here with a side chick, and he don't know what he's going to do. So he's like, Chad, <laughs> I mean, I don't – that's exactly the story I got. He's Whoa, real. They're good at this shit, right? Good deal, yeah. So he's like, man, you know, I ain't going to lie to you. I don't need another car. You know what I'm saying? Like, not right now because I got too much going on. Okay. And then he was complaining about the payment, you know, the okay. other car because his, name, his name's on it. Yeah, you know, for sure, for sure. Just a bunch of bullshit, right? Yeah, definitely. But at the end of the day – like, uh, you know, my boss, my job, try to sell another car. You're approved, man. Okay. You need to buy this other car, bro. Yeah. What if I give it to you for, like, low, no money down? He's like, no money down? Let me call my bitch. For sure, for sure. So he calls her. <laughs> she's driving, like, an old 6 Saturn. So it's yeah. a piece of junk car. Okay. So he calls her. And I'm listening because they're in my office. I can listen to every. I'm, I can hear it. You. you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He's like, hey, baby, you want this car? She was like, man, I don't want to. I can't really afford nothing over, like, three three fifty. He was like, yeah. Chad, go show me some used cars. Mm. Because I can't, I I'll probably get a used car if you get zero down. I keep the payment low. So okay, like, gotcha. Hey, I go tell him, hey man, say he said he'll get a car, but I got to go over here to the used side. He okay. says, fuck that. You're finna sell him the last dart we got, the oh. last one. He's good credit. We'll go 84 months. Whatever we have to do, he'll get that 300 dollars payment. Oh wow, bet. So I close him on the payment, and then of course he and it's crazy, you know how I remember the deal so well. One because mm. it's Ray, two because it's a, a two car deal. And three, because he was giving finance problems when he went back there. They said he's walking out, Chad. He's walking out. He don't want to do the payment. Oh, wow. So we're trying okay. to sell him gap warranty. He don't. He already said he don't want to go over a certain Yeah, thing. for sure. So I'm like, bro, you don't have to buy that. I saved the deal. You know, I'm happy as shit. Two weeks yeah. later, I find out he stole someone's identity. Oh, wow. I'm like, Whoa, that bro. is What are the fucking odds? You might as well go play the lottery, yeah, right? Yeah. Well, well, it wasn't two weeks. Probably like, no, it was actually two about two months. I'm going to tell you why. Because okay. After I got that guy done, mm. you know, another guy from Oklahoma came in with dreads. Okay. And was like, hey, I'm here for the people's champ. My homeboy Chris came and grabbed me. Oh, I remember like up. it was yesterday. I'm, yeah. like, I'm in the office. Like, what's up, man? He pulled
all I ride is foreign. My woman, my wife, you know, you got to make the wife happy. He's yeah. Like, all she wants is a Jeep. I mm. hate him. You yeah. Know, I like Lexus. He says, I got a Lambo. I'm Jesus. like, damn, what do you do for a living? Okay. He says he shoots the pictures and the, the walks on the red the red carpet. He said oh. he was on his way to Dallas. Okay. You know, shoot the red carpet. Beyonce was going to be there. I was like, oh, oh, that's what's shit. up. Yeah. Take me I was like, well, shit, you know, yeah. I got to kind of know what you make a year. He's like, just put 400000 oh. I was like, okay, bet. Okay. He's like, I'll probably pay cash for the Jeep. Uh-huh. I mean, it's just a big, it's crazy, right? Yeah, for sure. So I'm like, okay. So I'm like, okay, we test drive the Jeep. He likes it. We'll go back inside. He's like, you know what? I just, uh, let me just finance it. I'll pay it off in a couple weeks or something. I ain't got okay. time for it. I think I'm going to go ahead and get it now and be done with it. Yeah. I said, all right, cool. I'm happy. I pull his credit. Go take it to Clint. He's from Oklahoma, too. And uh, Clint runs his credit. says, man, he's good to go. Let's get him a car. That's so it, yeah. Bet, let's do it. So, um He's 800. He buys the car. Mm. Not even a week later, someone's calling from New York saying, hey, I'm getting papers in my mail at my other house in Oklahoma saying oh. that I just bought a Jeep. I haven't bought nothing. I'm in New York right now. Yeah, yeah. He stole someone's identity. Wow. So I'm like, damn, that's fucking crazy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, like, but what, I had no idea. Well, how I mean, were you supposed to? Exactly. Yeah. Like, how were you supposed now, to know that? if it that? was one of the good boys, uh-huh. he'd have been good. Oh. But what he did to me, he was like, you know, Chad has something to do with it. Chad's a ring. I leader. see what's and going on. And then he called okay. the police on me. I come to work. I'm buying a brand new scat pack on yeah. the showroom floor right as I get arrested. So like the like eight nine SWAT team. I'm talking about they're an all black SWAT detective. team. They look like what it. the they hell? All black. Like, they <laughs> the fucking horrible. machine guns and shit. Like what? Are no, you? I don't think they had guns. <laughs> no. Okay. Okay. But I come out the office. I, you know, I didn't have nothing to worry about. I, didn't yeah. get, I said, hey, man, what's up? Y'all here to get a car? Are yeah. you Chad? That's him. That's him. Grab me. Tag me. Bam. Put me on the floor. Oh, arrest me. Wow. Like, Hold on. What are y'all arresting me for? This is all happening at the dealership yeah, you're at, at work? Yeah, at the dealership. Oh. So he called the laws and said that I had something to do with them two cars. And they charged me with theft over 50, under 150,000. That's a third degree felony. So the assumption is because maybe, and this is what you're thinking, correct? Or maybe this is, I don't know. Uh-huh. He thinks you had something to do with it just be based off of the way you look? Is that what's going on and the way you act? Or, Man, well, I think uh, that well, was uh, his way of getting rid of me. I think he's uh, been, he did not want me to quit because mm. I would have just went to Toyota and turned up. <laughs> I mean, this is a true story, Yeah, right? for sure, for sure. He's number one yeah. in Central Texas. He was number one when mm. I was there for a long time, especially yeah. with Marcus Ward as a manager as well. You okay, know what I'm saying? okay. So... Every time I thought about quit, I quit like three or four times. Why yeah. won't he just let me quit? He wouldn't. He'd call me back. Mm. Hey, just come on back. You know, we're good. We'll yeah, this, yeah. You need a little break. You get a little hot-headed, whatever. I, I go back because the money's good, right? Did nobody ever just, like, pull you in the office and talk to you and say, hey, like, yeah, what's, no, like, what, well, like, what's going on? Like, what, do you have any information as to why this happened? Like, do you have anything before, to do with it? I'm talking it? about before the arrested part. Yeah. So I'm already getting into it with him all the time because he's over promising under he never gives me what he's he supposed never gives to give you, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You learn that in this world. Don't and, fucking You know, you talk about. to yeah. other managers, uh-huh. you talk to other people, and you already know Ted okay. don't like you. Ted didn't even want me to work there when I came from when they switched from Alan Samuel Chevy mm-hmm. to Auto Nation. Yeah, yeah. I left. I didn't like the pay. Okay. Left, you left. Right? Yeah. Okay. So I went with Marcus over there to Alan Samuels and yeah. he didn't want me there then. But I'm selling 30 cars a month. You say how they ended up liking me or dealing with me, but he yeah. sells a lot of motherfucking cars. For sure. And then it's so easy because, you know, dealership pays so much advertising to have people come in their doors. You yeah, know yeah, saying? yeah. So the average average is $600. Okay. So the average, what they spend over in one month's time, it, once one person walks on the lot, yeah. that's 600 bucks. Okay, got you. So me, it's all free. Yeah. I have my own people. Yeah, I don't yeah. Need none of your people. I just need your cars and your I got inventory. You. And, you know, and, and we good. And yeah, I got this. Yeah, it. yeah. So, man, it was crazy. I get arrested. I go to jail. I'm just like, what the fuck? This is crazy. Yeah, man. definitely. And I, I'm still like, don't know what's going on. I'm like, damn, they arrested me for what? And the whole time he's talking to me in the car, I'm like, man, look, check my bank account. I ain't got to steal a bitch ass thing. Yeah, Why the yeah. fuck am I going to steal two cars? Yeah, for sure. And I'm like, I don't even see how I get charged with that. So this mm. is where it gets real grimy, right? Okay, okay. So I get charged, call a lawyer. My lawyer's really David Hudson. That's like my best friend. Yeah, right? yeah. But I had another lawyer at the time because he wasn't down here. I think mm. David was in Alabama or something. For sure. So I, I hired Seth Sutton, and I'm going to put him out there because he's trash, too. <laughs> you know, he told me everything. I, 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 I'm I, talking about I cashed him out, didn't even mm. ask no questions. And he looks into my case. He's like, you know, you got a lawsuit. You got this. You got that. Yeah. You got, uh, you know, all the good stuff, right? And I'm For like, sure. damn, that's what's up. You know okay, what okay. Well, you know, he's calling me like once a week, twice a week. He's, let's go lunch. Let's do this. Let's mm. do that. All of a sudden, the phone call stopped. Oh, wow. 
whoa, bro, why you stop calling? What's going me? What's on? Going yeah. On? Like, I need then, I'm calling, then I'm calling him, he ain't answering. Oh. I'm like, damn, what's going on? It's not right. Mm-hmm. And then he forgot about my, my court date. So they put a $250,000 bond on me because I didn't even know I had to go to court. Oh, wow. So I had to go to court. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, but whoa, nobody bro. told you, like. So they okay. arrest me again. I'm like, man, what the hell? People. So it's nothing. So I, you know, yeah. I'm good, right? Okay. Because I'm always going to make a way for me. Yeah, for sure. So I I, I plead my case, whoop, whoop. So they let me, they let me make it or whatever. And then he's like, oh, I'm sorry, I've been tied up with this, this, and that, this, this. But come to find out, I don't mm. know how true it is to this day, but I have people on the inside, too. Mm. He was paid off. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. He was paid off. And it only okay. makes sense because Allegedly. he didn't ask me for no more money. <laughs> yeah. He didn't ask for nothing. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, for sure, for sure. So then, you know, I'm going two years fighting this bullshit-ass case that they don't have nothing on me. Wow, that is fucking Two years, wild. I'm like, yeah. wow. And then, of course, you know, word... He's giving word in Waco. They're trying to blackball me. Make yeah. sure I can't sell cars. Of but, course, yeah. But you have to prove it. Like, mm-hmm. you're putting all this on me, and you haven't proved the shit. You yeah, know what I'm for sure. So I'm begging them to just prove it. Get the shit out of my way. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So I get David Hudson. David Hudson's back down here. He gets it. Boom. Yeah. He gets it dropped within, like, four months. Okay. Quick. Gotcha. And the DA, they're, they were, and, and they all work together. Yeah. Uh, and I'm saying right on your camera, how, how are you going to try to prosecute me when Ted Teague funds y'all's stuff and in, 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 in inaugurations and y'all are all in bed together. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I can prove all that shit. Gotcha. gotcha. I got it all. I got, that? A badass <laughs> private, I got a badass private investigator. I yeah, got, yeah. I, I got a lot of shit. I might so, need somebody private investigator for me. So, I'll give you that. So, of course, at the end, you know what I'm saying? He was yeah. like, um, you know, they were trying to drop it, but I had a lot of customers call. My customers are loyal. Okay. And I'm That's good, good to my people. For you know sure, yeah, yeah. So I'm getting calls. Hey, Ted, uh, 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 the DA just called. Mm-hmm. Like, Whoa, the DA calling y'all? Yeah, yeah. I said, oh, what did they say? They said, hey, did Chad do anything? Did he sign a paper for you? Did When you went up there, did uh, oh. did he did he uh, lie about anything? Did yeah, yeah. Anything? And they're like, no, no. They all had my back. That's, and like yeah. seven people called me. Seven within like yeah. three days. So they're scrambling because wow. David put the fire on them okay. to try to figure out, you know, what they want to get me with. That's going to suck, yeah, dude. It Holy sucks for me. Shit. So, I'm sorry. So, yeah. so they're telling me that I'm such a bad person mm-hmm, and I mm-hmm. do so much fraud. Right? Yes. I did over 500 deals at that dealership. Yeah. And they went through every deal with a fine tooth comb. Yeah. I'm not in jail. Right. And my charges got dismissed. Mm-hmm. So what I do wrong? Exactly. Exactly. Well, there has to be a sense of redemption in that too, mm-hmm. for sure, oh, don't you think? Good. Yes, I got Man. you. So but the problem is like everywhere mm-hmm. I go, that still, you know, that still lingers. Say, well, okay. Well, Chad, uh, you got to watch him. What you got to watch me for? Yeah, and it be haters, you know. What okay, I'm saying? okay, I got you. You, you know, so one thing that you're you're most publicly being, um, I guess, looked at for is uh, you just most recently left another dealership, um, you know, um, and you you were just. A manager, if I'm not yeah, mistaken. Yeah, I became a manager. Got you. I, I, I stepped down. Now, I, it seems I was a like, manager for a week. Yeah. And then I didn't like the way shit was going. I don't mm. like the direction that he was going in. Okay. You know, I do. The owner's a great person. Yeah. You know, I have nothing to say about the owner. For sure. But I have something to say about the manager that's in charge, mm. that he le- leads to run his dealership. And then when I try to reach out to you, mm-hmm. you just have his back. You know what okay, I'm saying? Okay, I got you. It seems like a lot of people were leaving. That Everybody So left. I had a friend that worked there, and she stopped working there after a it's while. Horrible. And then I saw you, and then somebody else, and then somebody. Like, it was yeah, like, what is going most, on? I yeah. swear it is the most worst place I ever worked for is that right like period yeah like he was very real about the money okay so i got paid great i didn't have to leave yeah but see me i want to work for my money and i want to get people approved okay got you yeah so i was like okay this ain't for me and i told him i'm stepping down from management because what's the point of putting me in management Mm -hmm. and i'm still having all my customers come in and i'm giving them to other other sales people and i'm closing them still then you want me to do this 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 for sure it just doesn't it doesn't add up the money don't add up okay got you okay and then you can't do what you want to because you got another guy in there mm. that don't know what he's doing. Already got fired for sexual harassment, oh. and they let him right back. Like, oh my God. like what are you doing, what bro? The fuck? And then he yells at people. He, yeah. he ruins the mood. And yes. once I tell once I tell the owner, he's like, "Man, that's my right hand man." Like, whoa, it's your right hand oh, man. Oh, that's well, what I understand. Doing. What I'm, I'm gone. It's okay. the buddy system, right? Mm, okay. And, you know, I talk a lot about race because it's real. Absolutely. It's the same thing, bro. Okay. Like, no matter what race you are, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. So they say, mm-hmm. I act black. Cool, whatever. I'm Chad. Okay. That's all I know, right? Yeah. But he, they are very racist up there. Mm. Very. It's a, it's a one way. It's, they're for their people only, and that's it. Okay. I'm really sorry. <laughs> and I got like, I yeah. got like 15 people that already know. I'm like it. speechless. Been through it, yeah, you know yeah. What I'm well, you. It sounds like you've been through it in your business, and yes. you still ha- maintain this this high reputable position. Yeah, as no, the I number still, one sales agent in good. Texas. You know, how do you maintain? Uh, I just 
Shit, I don't know how I <laughs> Do you know sometimes. what I mean? Sometimes like, I just be like, you're back. Well, you're back and forth in, in dealerships. You know what I mean? Well, that was yeah. my fault that I left this last time because uh, All American Chevy treats me very well. Yeah, you know they they give me they never lied to me. I never lied to them. Okay, I do got great you. Great business there. Mm-hmm. You know the general manager is just freaking awesome. You for know sure, what I'm for sure. Just, just the whole facade. It's just great. It's great. There. Yeah, it's a great environment. You know, I was going through some things. You know, I wanted mm. to do something different. Got tired of the drive, and you know, okay. I'm just chilling. I'm thinking about, do I want to move around? Because it's really good here. Do yeah. I want to go back to Waco? What, if I do go back to Waco, where, where, where would I go? For sure. Is it worth it? Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I put all this in there, and I'm just like, man. Then I got a phone call from my homeboy, Todd, like, hey, Chad, mm-hmm. like, they fired that dude, Ralph. I'm like, okay, mm-hmm. cool. He was like, uh, the owner wanted me to reach out to you. He yeah. To talk to you. you know is this from the last dealership? Uh-huh. Okay, got you. I'm like, all right. This is it from the last dealership you just that I just left. Okay, got you. Okay. And I'm like, yeah, what's up, man? So, you know, he talks all this good stuff. How mm-hmm. he, he can do this, he can do that, I can do this. He can do, he needs help getting his dealership off the ground. We need to do this. Okay. Shit. You know, I need to sell a lot of cars, you know. <sighs> you know, all that. I'm like, you know what? What's, <laughs> I, I, you know, write the check. You know? Okay. And at the end of the day, he wrote the check. Oh. Like, oh, shit, so I do got to leave. There you go. I really didn't think he was going to write it. Right, right. But he don't play when it comes to money. He yeah. got money. You know he what I'm saying? It. Okay. He wrote the check. I came. And I showed him what I could do. Knocking the shit out of these cars. Mm-hmm, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But the, the previous re- regime that was there yeah. did a lot of bad things. You know okay, what I'm saying? Gotcha. So now, how can you sell cars with no banks? How mm-hmm. could you sell cars when you're calling the banks? And the banks are like, they don't want to do business with Volkswagen. Oh, wow. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I have to believe that. Yeah, no, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm fucking with you. You, can't. you, you no, know that. Yeah. You know, I talk to a lot of banks that I'm cool with. Yeah, yeah, for like, sure. Uh, you know, we don't, we can't do business with them. They did this, this, and that. And, don't you, know. you, don't you just think though? Because I was in sales. I was, um, you know, I was on the radio for a long time. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, don't you just think that's the fucking nature of the beast? I hate sales. You know, I can't stand sales. And my most, my most, I told you where I work. My most current employer has asked me to do sales and I said no fucking yeah. way you know what I mean don't you just think that it's the nature of that business they, they talk a good on, game do you yeah. know what I mean especially people that who you work for cause right I, I think I work for I think a lot they're of all good the same. people <laughs> they do turn out to be the same they're all the like, same they all talk the good game they all yeah, like tell I, you what you want to hear you yeah. know and I put down yeah. references cause you know there's stores that I brought from nothing. I know, I know the 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 store here that I was talking about earlier. Mm-hmm. The the you know I'm not I'm not saying the, <laughs> you're good. This is, yeah. At this point, you do whatever the fuck but you man, want. I don't like, fucking care. Like, yeah. like, they were selling like 15, 20 cars a month. I get to yeah. turn that bitch up. We're at hundred a month. That's 80, it. Eighty to hundred a month. You know what I'm saying? Why was that never? And just, then I, and then I just decided I don't like yeah. it because of the way they do service. It's, it's always something, mm, right? Okay, okay. So service was a problem with this dealership, and I got tired of paying for customer stuff out of my own pocket because I'm not gonna oh. let my people ride. Okay, man, okay. I'm not gonna sell you a car you have for two weeks and you need a tire or a battery oh, okay. or a belt and I'm not the dealership don't want to fix it I'm going to fix it you're going to fix it because this is my name on it right good, good for but you I'm just like, yeah okay. why you know I'm spending five six thousand a month on mm. cars I'm like yeah that's stupid. You could have bought your own car at this yeah, point. Like, what the, like, <laughs> okay, you know what the fuck? You know yeah. what I'm saying? So I take it to the owner and I'm telling him, he was like, you know, they're as is. They're signing as is forms. That's not a good business practice. Mm, okay. Me. Okay. And you're making money. So why right. why are we raping them and hurting them? Because mm-hmm. at the end of the day, are you going to do this for a good time or a long time? Right. I'm in it for the long run. For the long run. You know for sure. Bro, people's, um, uh, God, I hate that we have to wrap up soon. Fuck. But, um, why is that just never good enough? Why is you being the number one sales agent in Texas, number two in the nation, you you go to any dealership, you can walk into any dealership right now and turn them out. Turn them out. You know what I mean? And um, why is that just never good? Why don't they fight to keep you? Like, I don't because understand. Of, it's because of who I am. They don't like who I am. Okay. They don't like that I'm, I'm flashy. They don't like that I have tattoos. Mm. They don't like that. They don't like that I'm not. Billy. And you're, you know and you're, oh, is it because you're vocal too, though? I'm do you vocal. think? I don't keep yeah. nothing quiet. They don't you know like it when you stick up for them, they for yourself. They don't like when I stick up for myself. Okay. They want to put you down. And mm. then, you know, it's just a lot of hate, bro. Every time I, like, I just went on a job interview, no lie. Yeah. In a different city. <laughs> yeah. So it's not even here. Okay. And they're ecstatic. And I'm yeah. like, well, how much, how much we going, how much we talking? You okay. know what I'm saying? Okay. He writes me a contract. Everything's good. Talk to the owner. Owner loves me. He's yeah. ready to put me in. And at this dealership, I could sell like seven different brands. It's yeah. a big one. I'm yeah, like, for sure. Oh, I'm going to turn my people up with this, right? That's I'm it. I'm excited about the shit. And I'm just like, okay. Come to find out it's the, you know, the tattoo. Oh, okay. You were but, talking the But the they term. still okay. wanted me, right? Yeah. So I'm like, okay, cool. Then I get a, I get a call saying, hey, man, you didn't pass the background check. Oh, I said, what the fuck? There's nothing on my back. My right, back right. was clean as a whistle. So, what are you talking about? He's like, well, I'm gonna talk to you later. Okay, so he hung up. I'm like, okay. I didn't, and I didn't, and I didn't let it bother yeah. me too much because mm-hmm. I'm really good. I don't give a fuck. I have to keep that mind nah, state to keep, keep me going. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, good for you. Okay. So anyway, I talked to the other manager. Like, what happened? He was like, man, people. Uh, he he said 
some references that he was calling, you know, because everybody, it's a small place. Here, okay. You know, Central Texas. Yeah, right? yeah, no, yeah. He was like, it's a small place. And he was calling. He says that uh, you do bad business. Mm. You, do, you're, you, you don't have a relationship. One with of the family. references said that? Mm-hmm. One of the references a that you put down said that? He said yes, but I think no. You know what I'm saying? But he said he said it was, if I'm not mistaken, I know one of them said it was a wholesale guy, which, okay. Okay. And there was another dealership and another dealership. Because you, you look at my credit, you can tell where I worked at, right? Oh, okay. So I, I think see. he was calling around and they were hating on me. You know what I'm saying? I see. So okay. instead of telling the real, they was like, you got to watch him. He's he's jicky. He's, mm. If I'm jicky and I do everything bad, they're just hating because I sell a lot of cars. Yeah, yeah. They can't do it. I hate your business. You know what I'm saying? So instead <laughs> yeah. of hating on me, oh, why don't goodness. you congratulate me and ask mm. me how I do it? Because it's really simple. Mm-hmm. Help people. Yeah. That's it. That's All you got to do is help them. You sit down, you listen to their story. What, and you find out what's best mm, for them. You know okay. what I'm saying? And sometimes you got to put customers in their place, and I'm the one to do it. <laughs> but that's what I just don't understand, though, because in sales, you almost have to be like, it seems like the really good salesmen almost are liars, but you don't seem like that type. Why wasn't that good enough? That's real. what like, I'm saying. When they yeah. Come in there, I have people, like, they'll tell you right now, I turn yeah. people down, they got approved. I, I, Chad, I got to have the scat pack. Yeah. All right, bet. Let's see. We'll, we'll, this is what we're at. This is what we're doing, bro. You need a cosigner. Get the okay. cosigner. Cosigner is good. Mm. Grandma got good credit. You got bad credit. Oh, hold on, bro. You're not. You're not making enough money for this scam. Nah, I can do it. I can do mm. it. I mean, I understand you can do it, bro. But you're already in a bad situation. I got you. So why don't we just do something different? Let's go to something a yes. little less, and we'll build you up. And they don't like to hear that. Mm. I don't sell them a car. Yeah. You know, okay. I got you. Why not? You know what? I mean, you've had multiple negative experiences at all these yeah. car dealerships. You, and I have just have to say, you know, he's been, we've been sitting on the couch for about an hour now. We got to wrap up soon. But I can definitely tell that you are a very genuine person. You know what I mean? You're very nice. You're very respectful. I can tell that there's not like a malicious bone in your body. It doesn't right. have no doubt in me. that. So with all that being said, what stops you from just doing your own? Like, why not build your own car dealership? So like, I was going to do that, but you got to okay. think about the overhead and the headaches. Okay. I don't like that. You don't do all that. I was gonna do it. I already yeah. had my LLC. I had backing. I had. Yeah. Uh, I had a floor plan. I had, but man, I just, I just want to go to work, be happy, sell okay. a lot of cars, and then if something goes wrong, I don't want it to be my problem. It's like, why can't you just go to work, do your job really, really good yeah. without being the repercussions, exactly. or anybody hating on you or jealous or whatever the fact because you don't look like they do, and then just right. go home. I feel you. And that's what yeah. it is. That's really what it is. At the end of the day, that's okay. why I'm going to All American Chevy and Colleen. <laughs> we that's home, the- baby. No, for real. They, do you they know? Help me with everybody. Do you know a guy named Corey with the keys? Yeah. Do you know him? Yeah, I know Corey. Yeah, he, he lives in Clean. Uh-huh. Yeah, we, um, I, we're friends on Facebook. He, I, I reached out to him. Uh-huh. It's just cute. He has Corey with the keys. And he was like, you're the famous Andrew G. I was like, fuck you. Like, you're famous, bitch. You're Corey with the keys. I know, because you said Clean. I just had to give yeah, him a no, shout out. Corey with the keys. Yeah. yeah Is cool. he really? Yeah. Okay, I need to meet him in person. I need to go out to the lot. Mm-hmm. And when I, well, since I'm in Clean, I'm going to go visit you as well. Yeah. You know what, Chad? Uh, God, I, I hate that we have to, I have to cut you short. But what what am I leaving out? Is there anything that you just wanted to say to us before we... I mean, listen, the floor is yours. You do, do yeah. you. Yeah. Man, you know, the only deal I can't beat is the deal I can't see. <laughs> no, for real. Yeah. With, all, with everything that went on with, with the previous car dealership and the other dealership. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. Just, I'm just trying to let y'all know, man, that, you know, there's bad people out here that's doing good. You know what mm, I'm saying? Okay. So instead of going somewhere and getting raped, do your homework. That's okay. all I'm going to tell you. Whether I don't care if you buy from me. I'm mm. good. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, you need to do your homework, and you need to make sure you're making a good decision because yeah. the two biggest decisions in your life, I don't care what nobody says, okay. is a car and a house. So why That's would you nice. go buy a car for ten thousand over sticker, mm-hmm. four thousand over on on, on on warranties that you don't even need? Like mm. I just I just I hate it, bro. I, the business yes. part that when they the getting over, I understand you're gonna make some money. Everybody yeah. has to make money. Definitely, right? definitely. But come on, man, you don't have to. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, just make okay. this much. Like oversell it. Keep yeah. them going. Keep them happy. Keep yeah. them coming back. That's how you build your reputation. And All American does business like that. I got you. That's you why know, I really wasn't gonna leave All American. It was okay. really hard. But when he t- when he showed me the money, and I'm like, I'll be back in Waco. I can do my thing, mm-hmm. bro. They don't sell no cars like that where I just left from. Yeah, I got I'm you. I'm up there. I sold like 47 cars. <laughs> and, you know, I'm just knocking. I'm knocking it loose. That's you know it. Saying? You're doing and the then, thing. Then everything's slowing down. I'm like, mm-hmm. why can I not get my people approved? Mm. I'm calling banks. I'm like, hey, what's going on? Yeah, for sure. Well, you know, it's the previous facade. I couldn't, you know what I'm saying? Jeez, por favor. You know what? I just, I will just put on record too on camera. I actually personally know two people, three people that purchased from you just most recently. Mm-hmm. And they said it was the most pleasurable experience. They said they love working with you. That fun. was the guy. He made it fun. They said when you leave, when you call and you leave them the voicemail because you you pre-announced our episode, which I forgot to tell you not to do. Right. <laughs> okay. Which is okay. That's fine. Yeah. Everybody knows now. But, um, you know, um, and they they were just like that guy right there, you know, just the way he talks and the way that he is, he makes it such an easy, pleasurable experience. So 
I, you know, they're very reputable people as well. Yeah. So I, I will say that. Listen, I, I only wish you nothing but the best. Um, personal, do you have a lot of time for personal time? I mean, I know you you were just um, hanging the wife off of a, a boat that you just said. I do you know now. What I, mean? <laughs> yeah. I, I, I mean, I was supposed to go right back to work when I had quit. Okay. But I was like, you know what? I need some time. You need time for yourself. Yeah, so me and yeah, my you girl, do. we just been kicking it. I've been kicking it with the kids. Yeah, for sure. This is the longest I've been without going to work. It's been almost three weeks. Don't you feel like you need it, though? Man, I needed it. You need it, I really yes. did. I just needed the reset button. You have right? to do that. And you have everybody to. Mm-hmm. just hit me up. Where are you going? I just didn't want to release it yet. Okay, now, got you. I'm going to let them know. That's it. Okay, y'all got to watch the show. <laughs> yes. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Andrew, man. Oh, I appreciate you coming on the show. I really do. And I, I listen, if we had three more hours, we could have went we on. Okay. In. We could, you know. <laughs> but yeah, I, I think you gave us an earful. And again, I, I want to apologize to you for anything negative that you've experienced in your, in your career. It's life. I love you, it. You know what I learned from each and everything that I go through. That's I'm it. not one of them. I'm not going to pity. I don't look mm-hmm. for pity. I don't give a fuck. I tell them, hey, man, it just didn't work. I don't give a fuck. I'm gone. That's because it. Because the crazy thing about it, everywhere I go, I leave. If I do quit, mm. I, I leave the door open. Hey, man, you know, it's not working. No hard feelings. I'm okay. going to clean my deals up. This I'm going to go this way. I think this is a better. It's only for a better opportunity to better mm-hmm. me. It has nothing to do personal. For sure. But when I leave, they take it so personal. Yeah. And then when I'm going to the next place, they want to call them and tell them all kinds of shit. Okay, I'm like, okay, y'all, I didn't go to jail. Yeah. I didn't go to prison. They went through all my shit. I was under investigation. Yeah. Like, come on, man. Do, I didn't do nothing Do you think wrong. that'll ever finish? Do you think that, that'll ever stop? No, because they like to keep that up. <laughs> they really do. They like to bring it. And then, you know, oh, and it makes them feel better for not selling as many cars. Uh, yeah, you know for sure, for it's sure. Like, oh, I can sell 15, but I do mine the right way. I what's the you. right way? I just sold 60. Yeah. Like, what's the right way for my 60 and you're 15? Mm-hmm. What's the right way? I feel you. Because it's you and not me? Oh, I there's see. There's only one way to sell a car. Yeah. Go through all the steps, boom, boom, boom. That's it, go. boom, you know that's it. Just do good business, be honest. That's all you got to do. It. Keeps it real, right? Keep it real, man. <laughs> yeah. Keep it real. Do you think your wife will like these wines? I really want you to take them home. Yes. Say the presents for me, please. Wine. Okay, good, yes. You know what? And I got to get her on the show, too. Tell her not we to do. be shy, please. Yeah, okay. We're gonna, we're gonna get her God, on. you know, Chad, bro, first of all, I want to thank you so much for taking the time to come on my show. I know that you're busy all the time. Well, you're in between jobs at the moment. Oh, well, no, you just said we were working. Well, I now. already had a you, job before I quit. That's it. Okay. I was giving everybody the. Oh, you were just making it salacious. I like that. I did go to seven interviews, though. I went to Seven different Fucking ones, <laughs> and you know none of them. Yeah. They just talk a good game, but at the end yeah. of the day, you can read through it. I got the first you. thing they do is they judge you because I'm gonna go up there in my suit and tie. Mm-hmm. But then you know you already know. So while all of a sudden I'm the managers and whoever I'm going to apply for yeah. are sending me free requests on Facebook. First oh, of all, I Facebook, yeah. I kind of do my thing. You know, yeah. During the day, I'm a businessman. I'm thugging at night. Yeah, I'm not yeah. doing nothing illegal, but I'm a different person. <laughs> okay, you know that's it. Saying? Yeah, I'm you, got sure. the, you got Big Chad, you got the people's chat. You know what I mean? <laughs> most Let's definitely, do. most definitely. Well, look, bro, um, unfortunately, we do have to wrap up. I apologize. Yes, for sure. But I do want to thank you so much for coming on. How can we contact you to, to buy a car? Uh, just hit up All American Chevy and Clean or two five four five four eight sixty five eighteen. It's my cell phone number. And say, man, if you need a new car, Chuck SUV, you all know to holler at me, man. I'm gonna get you off your feet and in the street, off them rubber heels and on some rubber wheels. And remember, the only deal I can't beat the deal I can't see. Now for real, that's so cute. <laughs> How long did it take you to come up with that? That's awesome. That's my slogan. I, I, made I gotta it come up with something. Okay, I have to come up with something like that for the I public affairs. and everything. Mine is just keep it between us, and I open my legs. So, oh my <laughs> that's it. Chad, bro, it was a pleasure thank you so much for coming on to the public affair to everybody who's tuned into this episode you guys can hit him up to buy your next vehicle thank you so much for coming through best of luck to you and everything that you choose to do and all your endeavors okay hey. um, now before we go i definitely want to use this opportunity to give a shout out to just a few more of our sponsors of this episode of the public affair this episode is brought to us by soco soccer academy with dominic gutierrez and ariana gutierrez located at 3304 franklin avenue they offer team small group and individual skills training they also have elite skills training to make your kid a superb star athlete open plays on mondays and wednesdays for ages 16 and older at 8 30 with Mauro. Okay, so he bends only $5 to play. Follow on Facebook at Soko Soccer Academy on Instagram at Soko Soccer 254. So Soko Soccer Academy, thank you guys so much for all your longtime sponsorship. Truly appreciate you. Of course, the Montezuma Boxing with Edward Baragan, George Farcon, a boxing gym dedicated to train you to be a superb boxer. And of course, to get into shape, they offer walk-in, they offer walk-in workout classes at 5.30 a.m. and 7.30 p.m. And of course, sign up for their boxing classes to improve that hand-to-eye coordination and overall better physical condition. Montezuma's training champions, darlings, champions, that's right. 
Call the number on the screen and follow on Facebook to Montezuma Boxing. Thank you guys so much for your longtime sponsorship of the Public Affair. Of course, to Villas Transportation LLC with Pelon Villa and Yasmin Landeros. They provide power only services locally and over the road at an affordable rate. They also move freight and drive vans such as the box items, pallets and materials, most retail dry goods, and more. They provide hotshot services as well. They're independently owned. You can call the number on the screen today for more information to VS Transportation LLC. Thank you guys so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. Truly appreciate you too. They're hot. They're hot. Of course, the Sonia's event planning and rentals with Sonia Childers. They're an event planner that specializes in weddings, quinceañeras, baby showers, corporate events, and more. And she's appointments only, so take the stress of planning your event off your shoulders by reaching out for a consultation at Childers1994 at yahoo.com or call the number on the screen to Sonia's event planning and rentals. Thank you, ladies, so much, girl. I appreciate you. You're the best. Of course, the Pollo Box and Audio with Jeffrey Monreal, home for all your LED needs and auto accessories, installation of stereos, door speakers, and audio systems. He also specializes in building custom subwoofer enclosures and much more. Definitely a jack of all trades. When, so when you get your vehicle from Chad, you take it to Pollo Box and Audio. He's going to hook it up with all the extra stuff. Ooh, yeah. Your one-stop shop to get everything done in one roof. He put the stars in my car. With my dark tint, but now the stars shed the dark tint. I, like, I can't do shit. <laughs> to Boyo Box and Audio, thank you so much for sponsoring this episode. And of course, to Fat Boy Michelada Botana with Junior Banda, who provides the best Michelada and Botana plates for yourself or for a party with a menu of ton of different items, including Botana bowls, chamoy pickles, and more locally operated. So make sure you get the best and not the rest. Follow on Facebook and Instagram at Fat Boy Michelada Botana. Place your order now. Thank you so much, Junior Banda. I truly, truly appreciate you. To everybody who's tuned into this episode of The Public Affair, thank you so much. The People's Jam, ro- the People's Champ, roll through. He's got the thing going on. Listen, best of I really do appreciate you. I wish we only had five more hours. I really do. I wish we had five more hours, but we don't. And don't forget, darling, to always... Fuck my wine. Keep it between us. (laughs) That's it. This has been a Rogue Media Podcast. Are you a podcaster? Let's talk podcast hosting. Are you tired of your current podcast host? Need real support in a community that gets it? At Rogue Media Network, we offer top-tier podcast hosting services to help you thrive. From hosting and distribution to dedicated support, we've got you covered. Starting as low as $25 a month. Join our community of passionate podcasters today. Contact us at hello at roguemedianetwork.com.